Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This week uh, we're going to do a short video, I hope, and we are going to uh, talk about a topic that's been showing up in forums and uh, Facebook groups. Uh, some developers and some users have been uh, having issue with rain inside the building and or not being able to fly into inside of a building so this is for both the user and the developers okay so we're going to be talking about environmental occlusions eos and i did a video a while back quite a few months ago about how to create a, an eo in blender and exporting that into your sim so there's no rain inside of your buildings okay now the issues that have been brought up are either that the EO is not working correctly and they're still getting rain inside their buildings or when you're in drone mode you try to go inside of a building that has an EO it hits the wall and doesn't allow you inside the building all right i have thoroughly investigated this and i cannot replicate uh, those issues okay so i probably make this video shorter than it really needed to be then i mean if that's all you wanted to know you can stop watching now but anyway i want to show you what i did all right so here i'm at my guinea pig airport five alpha one in norwalk ohio and i have two cubes the big white cubes and i have two green cubes all right each one is a separate type of model in blender all right first let's take a look at this cube here this cube is simply just a uh, 10 meter cube and there are two models in the file. There's one for the cube to make the white uh, material. And then there is an environmental occlusion object where I use MSFS parameters and use the environmental occlusion. Um, the old, I didn't do any settings. Okay. I just chose the default. All right. So that's what this block is made out of. This little green block over here has an environmental, has a, has a plane above it. You can't see it in the sim because it's, 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 a, it's invisible. All right, it's an invisible object. But there's a plane sitting above this block. And it has the environmental occlusion material assigned to it. If I come over to the second set of blocks, you'll, they're basically copies of each other with just one little change, okay, is that this block in both the model and the environmental occlusion, I've created an opening such as a door. Okay, now my picture in the screen is probably lagging behind. It'll probably freeze up because I'm in the sim and trying to record at the same time. And it doesn't like that. It, it's my system probably, which I'm not worried about. But anyway, I digress. Um, so this block is two blocks, one for the model and one for the environmental occlusion, and they're identical with the exception of the materials. The material for the EO is uh, an MSFS parameter for environmental occlusion, occluder, okay? And then this block is the same as this block with the exception I've also added a ground plane with, uh, with the EO assigned to that. Now, I'm on a sunny day, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to weather, and I'm just going to do one of these preset rain sceneries, let that start raining. 
Then I'm going to go back into the sim and I am in drone mode. Now, one thing I want to show you, yes, I am in dev mode right now, but I can be I can be honest with you, it makes no difference whether you are in uh, developer mode or not. Okay, if I fly toward this with the drone, if I fly toward this block, I can easily go inside of it. Okay, it's not preventing me from going inside. All right, now let's look at the ground real quick. Notice that there's raindrops hitting the ground. Okay, and if I slowly drone into this block, there are no raindrops falling inside. So the environmental occlusion is working properly. Okay, um, every so often you might get a drip here and there, but I don't see it uh, failing. Okay, now let's go over to this block. This block has a plane above it with an environmental occluder, but we still get rain all the way around it. Okay, this plane that I put on above this block was probably three times as big as the block. So, um, in all in intents and purposes, there should not be raindrops hitting the ground. All right. So what this is telling me in this in this investigation so far is that using a plane as an environmental occluder does not work. Okay, because I'm still getting rain hitting around the block. All right. Now let's go over to um, this second block with the door in it. All right. I did this just in case uh, when I was in drone mode and tried to fly into the building, so to speak. If it stopped, if it prevented me from going inside the building, what I did was in my blender model, I put a hole in one of the walls and deleted this, this face in the model and created an environmental occluder for that model with this hole in it. Okay, so there is no environmental occluder in this rectangle, okay? But just like I've tested over and over, both in dev mode and not in dev mode, the results were the exact same. So if I, if I go in here, it looks like it's raining inside, but it's not, okay? Let me show you. So I'll W in there and notice that there is no raindrops falling on the ground inside this box either, even though there is a hole in it. The only reason that you see raindrops is because they're falling in front of us, all right, and they're hitting the ground in front of the box, all right. These, this is not in these. This is not raindrops hitting the ground. This is raindrops flying in front of your eyes and hitting the ground out here. Okay. But even with the hole in the environmental occluder, it's keeping the rain outside of my building. And why did I do that? Okay. Why did I put a hole in my environmental occluder? Because it's just in case if you want to try it uh, with your scenery, create a hole for a door. You know, take your building and where there's a door, when you lay your environmental occluder over your building, create a hole in it and see if you can use drone mode to go into the building. But like I was saying, I have not been able to replicate um, being prevented to go inside of a building with an environmental occluder. All right. Now, in the other sample... I have this block, which is identical to the first block that we looked at. It has a larger plane sitting above it, but I also added a 
plane on the ground itself, thinking that maybe it's passing through the plane, but when it hits this bottom plane, it won't put raindrops on the floor or on the ground. Well, guess what? It doesn't work either because I clearly have raindrops hitting the ground outside of the box and it should not have any out here because this plane is like three times bigger than the block. All right. Now let's go inside this block. Let's pretend it's a building. Whoops. Whoop. Ah. <laughs> I was there. I'm sorry. I'm making you seasick. All right. Let's uh, drone is I the camera the the camera on the drone I have set for the slowest setting and it's, I still pass it. So let's let's just get over here and then hit F and go down. All right. So this is inside that second block that has a ground plane and a tarp plane above it. And I am getting raindrops on the ground. So environmental occluder material does not work on planes. It has to be a, a closed-in box. However, like I said, you can put a hole inside of it at a doorway. Okay? So... If you are one of those developers or um, that is having an issue with your environmental occluder not allowing you to go into the building, try making a hole in the side of your block, your occluder block, and see if it lets you fly into the building at that door. I think it will, okay? Because uh, I'm I'm... I'm pretty sure it will, but like I said, I have not had the ability to replicate um, environmental occluders not allowing me to go inside of a building, okay? I have not been able to replicate that, and I've tried. And that, like I said, is both in dev mode and out of dev mode. Right now, I'm in dev mode, okay? But it's even if I... Even if I, um, you know, uh, escape out of this and go to general options and come over here to developers and turn dev mode off, save and apply, apply and save, go back, resume. Even out of dev mode, I can fly into this building right through the wall. Okay. All right. And I'm not getting rain inside that building. So my environmental occluder is working. Okay. So that's what this video is about. Is um, if you're having customers for your scenery tell you that can't fly inside of your buildings. Try to, try to do another model with a hole in it and see if that helps. But like I said, I cannot replicate it. I have not been able to replicate that. So let's go back to weather and let's clear up the sky. Let's go clear skies. Nice, nice and sunny again. We're out of the rainstorm. I did notice one thing that was pretty cool while I was investigating this. Notice that when I stopped the rain, my ground still looks wet, which is kind of cool. Okay. Man, this this is driving me nuts. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, now my gr now my ground is dry. It was it was wet for a while and then it evaporates, so to speak. Anyway, so that's what this video was about: was um, environmental occluders. Like I said, a few months ago, I, I showed you how to create one. So if you want to look at that, there's nothing fancy that you need to do. You just need to select 
create a material, I usually call mine e EO or EC or something, and then I apply the MSFS parameter environmental occluder to that material, okay? You, no other settings. You know, I don't have to tweak any other settings. All I do is set that, and, and it's good. And mine have been working fine. And I haven't, and uh, scenery that I've downloaded, people that are using e, uh, environmental occluders, their scenery is working fine as well. And I can fly into their buildings and all that kind of stuff with zero issues. So I'm sorry I don't have a conclusive uh, result of why that's happening for some users. But anyway, make a hole in a wall and see if that works, if, if you're still experiencing that. So anyway, hey, thanks for coming, watching the video. Um, I look forward to... Um, comments, issues that you guys are having with your uh, environmental occluders, uh, you pilots, uh, what sceneries are you experiencing not able to go into the interiors? Um, I don't know if they have a collision set or something like that on their buildings, but I don't uh, because I want people in my buildings that do have interiors, so I leave uh, collisions alone. So that could be it. You could have uh, developers that are using collision um, surfaces. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys uh, subscribe. And if you feel inclined to support me, uh, buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. And you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you later.